welcome to my channel. Tell you what, I went to see Free Guy today on IMAX. So long story short, I'm gonna tell you this, you won't regret watching it. So it opened in China on Friday and I went to see it today because it's got Jodie Comer in it and I really adore her. And the premise is pretty simple. If you watch the trailer, you'll probably get this. It's um, basically Ryan Reynolds waking up one day, finding himself an NPC in a video game. Although if you actually look like Ryan Reynolds, it's very unlikely that you are NPC under any circumstances, even in real life. It's just too much rendering for an NPC. So the whole thing I would say is a quintessential Hollywood summer blockbuster no-brainer. I sort of get deja vu from um, movies like Happyville, Matrix, and The 13th Floor. But you gotta admit, it's a movie for everybody because it's funny but not cheesy funny. It's a no-brainer, but it doesn't treat audiences like idiots. Even if you're not a video game game lover, you still appreciate its pop culture homage and fan service and crossovers. And it's got a lot of anticlimactic humor and everything that's funny happening in the background. So it's the kind of movie that when you take up the 3D glasses and you will just nod and say, hmm, I had a good time. And I think that's probably the bar set for most summer blockbusters and um, this one passed the bar. Even in China where the audience is very unfamiliar with a lot of the pop culture references in the movie, it still managed to wring a few laughs from the audience. And almost all the viewers at my screening voluntarily stayed behind to watch the end credits and that from my experience doesn't happen every day and for every movie, which to some extent showed the quality of the movie. And the cast, I have to say, really works this time. Jodie freaking Comer is the greatest thing that ever happened to the movie. I've known and loved her from Villanelle in Killing Eve, and then I go back and watch Dr. Foster. I would say she really had range, and she had her charisma. She always had a certain flair for complex, distant iconoclast. In a blockbuster, she definitely took off some edge from Villanelle and become this super smart, independent, unworldly badass, but still endearing. I love seeing her in roles like this, although it might not have the same level of complexity as her other roles, but then I would say that she might start a niche for female characters. Also a PR idea for every movie that she will be in in the future. You might make a teaser just having audiences guess how many accents Jodie Comer has in that movie. Because if you watched Killing Eve, she is just like an audible Google Translate with every accent you can think of. What is this? And the other ones, Channing Tatum, Long Time No See, did a slick job killing that physical comedy. Ryan Reynolds, no question there. Usual, raucous, deadpoolish charm over there. Taika Waititi, he basically writes his own character and he's such an iconoclast that every time I watch his work, he is I, he's not acting or directing, he's just Waititiing. Just brilliant. The visual effects is okay for a blockbuster like this, but I don't know if it's Ready Player One that set the bar too high but the setting could be more diverse than it is right now and it would probably crank up its fan services if it has more crossovers and more homages and I expect a few eyebrows to be raised over racial diversity in this movie it could be better so in closing a few tips for watching a movie first of all go to your movie theater if your antivirus policy allows and while you do that find the biggest screen possible just the biggest screen because i went to watch the imax version today and i also see the movie for a short while on a regular movie screen long story harrowing experience go find it on my instagram that screen just doesn't feel big enough for that visual effects but here comes another suggestion if you if you have a 4d theater then i would say you can probably trade in the large screen for the 4d experience because the wrong screening i went to is actually a 4d one so the chairs are rocking back and forth every time the character shoots or got hit because it's an action-packed movie and then you will just get the kick out of it the movie opened just yesterday and they've got like 7.8 out of 10 on Douban, Chinese 
IMDb. But I think it's pretty decent for an opening score. If you're racking your brain thinking about what to do for a vacation, you can drag your loved ones and go see it, and you won't regret it. If you like movie reviews, then you're in luck. I'm a really good movie buff. I could talk about more movies in the future, so if you like it, press the like button and let me know your opinions and what you want to see in the comments. And subscribe to my channel if you pretty please.